Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today let's talk about Cyberpunk 2077. There's a DLC coming out, Phantom Liberty. It's coming out very, very soon. And I've been preparing to play it on the Steam Deck. So I want to go through uh, what I've been doing. And if you're also planning to play it on the Steam Deck, you might want to follow these steps as well. So first thing, definitely, of course, install the game on your Steam Deck and update it to the latest 2.0 update. So I already have my game here. It's a non-Steam game. Uh, I'm running it on Proton Experimental. All right, and I've been playing for a bit and I've already have some saves, but also I've got another, I've got Wiimod installed and Wiimod like enables cheats and like trainers for your games. And I've tested it out. It works on Cyberpunk 2.0. So you might want to have this as well, since Cyberpunk is a single player game. If you don't want to grind, you know, get, you know, get some perks, maybe, you know, get ahead. You might want to use this. If you don't know how to install this, I've got videos up. So let's run run it first. So I've got Wiimod installed as a non-Steam game. So the uh, benefit of doing this is I can only I only need to install Wiimod once and I can run the games inside of Wiimod. So I don't have to like install Wiimod every single game that I have, which is a pain, right? But there's also a downside like your saves and, and all that, they don't carry over. So let's say here, I opened Wiimod as a game, right? And then I want to play Cyberpunk. I can go inside here. So normally it's not like connected. So let me just uh, remove it. You have to add your location of your game. So how do you find the location of your game? Okay, let's say I'm brand new. You open um, Proton Tricks. And then you locate your game. So see here, non-Steam Shortcut, Cyberpunk. So there's a number here, 26451. All right. So go into Home and then dot .steam. Steam. Um, Steam Apps here. Compact Data. And then that number. So what, what was it again? Cyberpunk, 26451. 26451. This, this number is different for every uh, everyone if you're running it on a non-steam all right so this is my prefix folder for my cyberpunk game all right so let's locate okay so i'm gonna locate the uh save location so it's in my drive c users steam user save games cd project red cyberpunk so these are my this is my save game location all right so just take note of that Okay, I'm going to add the location of my current game first. So it'll be here. Um, home. Deck. And then I can't go into .steam because it's a hidden folder. There's a trick. Go into the file name and just type .steam. Enter. And you can go into it. And then Steam. Uh, Steam Apps. Compact Data. And then it's 26451. Yeah, here, here it is. And then go inside the prefix folder, drive C, GOG games, cyberpunk. And then the EXC is actually inside the bin folder, x64. And then here, cyberpunk277.exe. All right. So I can run it. Let's play the game. See, you can see with Wiimod, I can get unlimited health, unlimited stamina, you know, all these cheats, you know, unlimited ammo, all this stuff, right? So it's pretty cool to have this on all right so i'm running the game but i don't have any saves so that's a bummer right you don't want to right, play this game through remod and then you don't have your save and then you let's say you do play it and then when you play it the normal without the, the mods and then you have to copy the save over again that that would be a really pain so this is what i do see here i don't have it's like i don't have continue don't have continue okay agree see load game i don't have any files so let's just quit it first let's quit okay let's just quit all of it quit all of it so what i need to do i need to go inside i need to copy that save to the wiimod file folder folder so okay so here i'm going to locate my non-steam shortcut for wiimod so it's here two five eight two two all right so let's open a new tab, open a new tab for home. 
going to go into our dot steam 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 apps compact data and then what was the number again two five eight two 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 five eight two two okay here this one so this is the prefix folder for my vmod so because i'm running cyberpunk if i'm loading vmod uh cheats i'm running the game inside vmod so I'm, I'm running it inside here so i need to go inside users steam user and then save games cd project red cyberpunk see here there's no saves that's the problem so i'm going to delete this i'm going to move it to trash and then go back to my original game so here i'm just going to move this cyberpunk 27 7 so save folder i'm going to move it here so don't move don't copy i'm just going to i'm going to use link here see it's a link so this is not actually this is virtual this actually is a link to this folder so now they share the same location. So do you understand what I'm doing? So because if I move it here, it also works. But when I want to play it, like if let's say I want to open the game, like if I want to use mods, I open it through remod, right? And then I'm and then if I want to don't if I want to play the game without mods, I load it here. Uh, the saves will be different. You would have to transfer it. That would be a pain. Now I link them together. They're using the same location. So let's try it out again. V mod. Okay. Okay, cyberpunk. So okay, let's run it. See if we have the saves. We can share the saves. All right, and also I'll give you another tip. All right, let's run run the game first. Okay, loading the game. Just wait for it. Yeah, you can see I've got continue. So load game. Yeah, I've, my saves are here now. They're, they're linked. All right, that's good. Okay, another tip is the toggle button. So if you don't have the pro version, if you have the pro version, you can toggle the buttons here. So I think I need to go inside the game first. So let's let's load a game. Load a game. See on the see here, it's still saying loading mods because I'm not inside the game. I need to load into the game before I can enable the cheats. I oh, see it changed to playing because I'm inside the game now. All right. So if you have the pro version, you can just toggle the cheats here. But if you don't, see here, only for pro members. So I can't toggle them on and off because I'm not the pro member. But you can still access the toggle buttons here. And I normally like to change it to like one. Why is that an alternate? I am so sorry. Where are my manners? President Myers, I mean, of course, <laughs> gotta respect the office. Alt two. Toggle. All right. Is that not right? Uh, let me see. Select a new key. Okay, three. Um. Okay, just one. Yeah, I don't want alternate. All right, so I'm changing it to one, two, three, four, five. So why I'm doing this? Because when you're playing on the Steam Deck, you can't when you uh, you don't have access to an external keyboard, maybe, and you if you're bringing up the virtual keyboard, like this, like this, you don't have numpad five. You only have this. So I can still toggle these cheats with these buttons instead of like num5 so you probably want to change them so yeah that's a tip all right so if you've got all that you're pretty much good to go there's also one more thing there's a program called cyber engine tweaks it's a mod 
it's like a trainer you can spawn like uh, cars and weapons but currently uh, it's not supported for the 2.0 update they're working on it so keep an eye out for it I'll leave a link for this page so keep an eye out for it um, so once they have it you can install this yeah that's that's what I'm doing to prepare for Phantom Liberty so I hope this video helped you out if it did please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one later